Hello and welcome to the show. We are here today on Wreckfest with a challenge. This one we've done a little bit before. It's very good fun. This is the Marked Man Races. Loose, very loosely based on the game mode uh, from Burnout Paradise. Essentially, we have got four vehicles that are racing. As you can see over there, it's Ewan, Gliska, Mute, and someone having a little bit of a breakdown. I don't actually quite know who that is. Lumbo, maybe? Uh, <laughs> uh, basically, they're, they're racing their own race around here. The winner will go into the next round, while us lots in much smaller and much weaker cars are going to be an irritant. Essentially, our goal is to interfere with their race, crash into them, and just generally cause chaos. Uh, if we can wreck them even better, however we can slow them down, we can go the wrong way around the track. Our goal is simply to crash into them and annoy them. Uh, are we not going to get going here because the leaders are going to be getting into the first corner immediately we should probably get started uh, on the lead cars rather than the ones further back in everything uh, I thought we were going when the first car crosses the line there's one not moved yet uh, so we can do what we like here uh, in terms of chasing them down our small and light cars are in theory going to be faster uh, and are in theory going to do more uh, do more damage and whatnot. Uh, sorry, they're going to be faster so we can catch these uh, these vehicles. But we can take shortcuts and so on as needed. We might need somebody to sacrifice their car to go the wrong way around to slow down Ewan, who has a very, very big lead at the moment. Because uh, I was expecting my car to be a little bit quicker and potentially catch Gliska. Uh, the hope is, is we might be able to do something into turn one here. Uh, I don't know if we've got anybody going to be... No one's really set up up there. That car could probably do a turning around. Now, we can't spend too long going the wrong way, because if we do, uh, we'll get reset. We, it's, if we try to do the entire race going the wrong way around the circuit, we will get reset. However, we can take some shortcuts and stuff. Uh, there is one car between us. This is not quite, not quite got the plans worked out here. I feel like if we get this right, we should be able to catch Gliska just on pure pace alone. Uh, here at the moment we are j it's just a race currently this has not worked as intended at all we need a corner uh, as another car has joined the fray Ewan is now starting to get slowed down so we started to figure it out Ewan started to be uh, slowed down oh Ewan has been oh no, I was gonna go for a huge hit on Ewan's car and we had trouble um bang it didn't actually do a damn thing oh we lost the rear wing so the racers, if you like, are not really going to be trying to take us out. Uh, their goal is not to destroy our cars as such, but it probably will happen as the race goes on. <laughs> That's an amazing crash. <laughs> that was stunning. I don't know who that was. 10 out of 10 on the effort right there. Uh, that was wonderfully, wonderfully chucked at the course. Uh, no, we've got over Gliska. <laughs> no. Gorby, no, no, Gorby, Speedy, that's what we are. Speedy, get out of the ditch. Well, oh, Gliska's been bullied by a lot of little cars. Uh, we're going to hit the door of Mute, and it did actually bugger all damage uh, and bugger all slowing them down. That was super ineffective. Ineffective? Ineffective? Whatever one. Uh, we will oh, end up spinning out Lombo, although it doesn't really cost them much time here. Uh, there is a spin on the killer pig. Uh, Gliska has been shuffled wide, but we need something after something after you and all. Killer Pig's going to have an accident around us. Uh, so we're not really too fussed. I say we're not really too fussed about you. We want to go for you and up at the front. If we can spin Gliska on the way past, awesome. The main goal will be you and, but it might have to be Gliska if we can't get to you and. There's stuff lighting up now to uh, give trouble to Ewan's car and that time it works that time it works Gliska can go in the ditch that we found before <laughs> Mute can get rolled over a little bit uh, oh Lombo's got to the front oopsie well, I say oopsie you know we'll attack whatever vehicle we find we'll spin it doesn't really cost us too much time to go for a spin there on Longbow. um if we're just being a menace at this point. That is our entire goal, is to just be a menace in this race. Uh, oh, dear. Problems? Mini? All is fine. <laughs> I'm actually quite glad. If the, the temptation, if there is a car rolling down the track, 
if, if I was in one of the racer cars and there was one of the swarm rolling down, I would hit it. If there is a car spiralling wildly out of control down the track, you are going to hit it. Um, I, I, I definitely will. Um, <laughs> As I said, they're not really going to be intentionally killing us. I'm not going to bother hitting Gliska at this particular moment in time. Basically because we've got to try and catch a little bit further up. Hoping someone's going to have shortcut the circuit a little bit and we'll go for Ewan. Um, they haven't this time around. There's two little cars rolling either side of this. Longbow with a hip check on a raid-in. Which was probably a good call. Stop it from being able to spin out uh, Longbow's vehicle. We try and do something to mute and it didn't move it. Uh, we had a big shot from Longbow's car. Can we push Gliska up the wall and over? Nope, but Danger Man sure as hell has. Uh, right, Longbow can go up the wall. I could have steered. They, they were last, which is why I didn't steer them all the way over there. Because <laughs> they were in last place. We generally have a bit of a gentleman's agreement. You don't bully the car too hard in last place. So I kind of didn't completely ruin Longbow's dates. <laughs> That has fallen over really well, whoever that is. Oh, um, Mute has fallen over, and I think they're on to their final lap of the race now. It's Ewan that's leading the way uh, in this. We've not done very much damage to the racing cars here, but it has been good fun. And I tell you what, the little cars have fallen over remarkably well. Uh, Longbow has been bullied quite uh, successfully down here, but Ewan has escaped. Ewan has escaped quite a lot, and I'm about to get pushed out of the way here, and that was probably a wise shout from a longbow. We are going to have to get creative here. Can I figure out a way around here? Because I've fallen too far back. We may have to go and explore bits of the track we're not supposed to be on. Uh, we're going to, okay, change a plan, change a plan. Oh, can I get over this wall? I can get over this wall somewhere, but uh, we are going to have to try and turn up. We're going to have to try. No, I went for the wrong car. Uh, God damn it. I can't go through the gearbox in time. I was looking for a car and <laughs> didn't know that one was going to be Danger Man there. Uh, it's going to be Ewan that takes victory. I was going for whatever vehicle I could, unfortunately. Uh, we <laughs> smack into Liam. Fortunately, we missed and we hit the wrong car. And it would be... Longbow's found the fence. Well, Ewan will claim victory in this one. It was a hard fought for race. It was good fun. It was very silly. The Mini has done a lot of flips. It actually came out on surprisingly good amount of health, all things considered. Uh, and we did have one good kill on Gliska into that corner. <laughs> it's my new favourite corner for accidental murders. But uh, there we go. First round of Markman has been completed. Ewan is through to the next round. I think it was with a Super Venom or something like that. Uh, I'm stuck on a hill. Come on, Mini. You can climb out of this. Maybe. Here we go. Awesome. <laughs> on to round number two. We are on to our second race. It is Chris, Liam, Blakey, and I think someone else racing. Not 100% sure. Well, they're coming around the final corner uh, here to begin the uh, mayhem, really. Oh, it's, sorry. Stevie and Night Out. All right. Blakey's not in this one. Um, yeah, we will see how this goes. This is the... S I can't remember the name, the name of this racetrack. However, what I do know is there's plenty of places we can potentially jump the circuit. And I have murdered Nine Tails, which I fear we may get some repercussions later on. <laughs> you know, if uh, when, it, when it's answered. But no, it's, it's the aim of the game. I saw an opportunity to T bone a car. It was a good opportunity. And we're going to get another one here. As Nine Tails technically isn't the last place car. Um, oh. We are going to get booped by that. We're just apparently we're just slowing down. Nine times. Turn one is such a dangerous corner for the cars racing uh, because it's so easy to torpedo a car down here. Uh, it's so easy to give them a massive hit. And there's been a humongous crash at the front in this one. And we're about to go and do the same to Stevie in the door. <laughs> it's just like it's it's always going to be worth taking that. Uh, oh wait, did I actually, have I done, I've done enough of the lap to be counted, uh, but I mean we might as well just go and do this to be honest with you, uh, like I know we'll have to reset it a minute, but for the moment we might as well, actually what we might as well do, got a plan, uh, is we're going to set ourselves up in such a way where as they come through we're going to be hopefully 
aiming to take out the leader. Oh, the leader's had an accident on their own! Uh, we can bump into them, we can bump into Chris, we can bump into Ninetales. Uh, we will spin it around and get going again. <laughs> oh, I was so looking forward to a big torpedo. And instead what happened is Stevie crashed into the concrete wall. And we never got to have the really big torpedo. Uh, you know what? Sure. Banzai! Oh. <laughs> Oh, that's gonna hurt. <laughs> oh, that's gonna hurt a lot. Uh, that's, I mean, it's put us a long way back. It's put us quite a way out of range of a lot of these guns. I feel like this, someone's got to kind of sacrifice themselves to do this. And it's my turn to be the one sacrificing myself to be the utter irritation, really. Um, oh, Ninetales just, just got away with that. We were millimetres away from uh, a very big hit on that car. Uh, we're just going across the middle of the circuit now. Uh, I mean, what other, I say what other option? Do we have a better option here, really? Ah, oh, nope, missed again. There's a gear in here somewhere. Uh, the rest of the pack is just going through. I'm surprised no one else has tried it, to be honest with you. Uh, I mean, yeah, Danger Man, I would have done exactly the same in that situation. I think that was a very, very good call. Uh, my vehicle is nearly toast at the moment, uh, which is fine. Oh, I got too far! <laughs> we spun Stevie and we used Stevie's spinning car to tag Nightales. They must be getting close to the end of their race because uh, we've farted about in the infield. I mean, we've caused some mayhem along the way, which is, you know, the aim of the game. Or oh, there is a big moment for, I think it was Ninetales, a big moment for someone. Uh, where are the actual cars that are racing? There's one of them. Oh, we have been sandwiched in all of this, and we are now going backwards, and amazingly, we aren't wrecked. One of the cars is uh, in all of this. No idea what lap number. Hello, Blakey, uh, with the duck on the car. Uh, they've got at least another lap to go here. Uh, someone's going to get torpedoed into turn one. Ninetales jumped the corner, but uh, has got a little bit stuck. Oh, I'm hoping there's going to be a wreck up ahead that we can catch too. Uh, there has been a very, very, very big shunt to Chris. I think Chris might actually be out of this, potentially. That may not have survived. There is Stevie's car that got a tag oh, and then got a bunny hop and is now going to get turned and we're going to drive it into the wall with Longbow. Stevie could eat the fence. Stevie's car is poorly. It is still going. Oh, Liam's got through. Liam snuck through. Yes, go on, Raiden. Go on, Raiden. You can do this. Oh, we are wrecked, but I think we might have killed Liam. Certainly Liam's car is in trouble. I don't know who is going to make it. It looks like it might be Stevie, possibly. Snuck through the middle of it all. <laughs> Stevie does it. Uh, no, wait, are we, is it over? No, we might still be going. Not sure. Um, uh, don't know. I think Stevie is still... Well, Stevie's definitely still alive. They're still in it. We're, this is the final lap. Stevie's out of it. Stevie's gone. It's Ninetales that it remains, I think. And Ninetales has got a lot of health in this one. Uh, so so if someone is going to try and torpedo it. Technically speaking, even if they kill Ninetales, if they are the last car standing, they will be victorious. Ninetales playing it very smart. Or oh, as smart as they can do through there by going by the concrete. Oh, huge hit from Danger Man. Very, very good hit there. Uh, to take a lot of the health off Ninetales, and Ninetales is going to get bundled into a corner. Uh, Danger Man is very low on health in all of this. Ninetales' car is poorly, and Ninetales' car is killed. And I do believe that is all the racers out of it. Ninetales will win, but it is, it's um, in many ways, victory for the swarm. Mute with some celebratory donuts. <laughs> oh, that track was brutal. I don't think we've done this circuit before, and that was uh, unbelievably brutal. We did some very heavy hits in there. I think we killed uh, at least one of the cars. I think we killed Liam, was it? Uh, Liam dodged one that did not dodge me. Uh, <laughs> great fun. That's what Mark Man is all about. Desperately trying to survive while the little cars ping themselves randomly across the circuit. Either way, Ninetales is through to the final. For the final if you will. I am, of course, racing. We've got me, Blakey, Danger Man, and Lado. Me and Blakey in the Grand Dukes. Danger Man in... I can't remember what it's called. Uh, the Dodge Charger-alike thing. And Lado has a hearse. 
whether I want to be leading the race, I don't know at this moment in time. Not that I'm necessarily going to be able to be leading the race, because the Grand Duke does not handle very well. It's very strong, but it is not the best handling car. And we've used the Fincross track before for this. Great circuit for this kind of uh, event. Oh, we're going to try and get the inside of the right? So, like, we're going to be having a mostly sensible race. Uh, so we're... I mean, there's going to be contact between the cars racing here, but... Uh, we're not going to be completely murdering each other. I technically haven't finished a lap yet. Uh, there's a little. There's going to be a little bit of positioning shenanigans. Now you can get away. Oh, we're sneaking a bit through the first quarter before you get murdered. That's what I'm trying to do. Ninetales has got us. Ninetales has got us. Although it was a, it was a hit that slowed us, but didn't actually do too much, uh, which is the important thing. Blakey may be about to get a torpedo. It was an attempt by Ninetales. Did not work. Whiskers not got us over the railing. Oh, Longbow tried and did not either uh, get us over the railing there. Uh, good old Grand Duke has taken one hit point of damage. Uh, it's a tough old boat, this. Uh, and of course, the thing is, mine is, is a very, very tough vehicle. Blakey leading the way has one as well. It's going to take a lot to slow that down. Uh, however, they will find a way, I have no doubt. Uh, in fact, you can see where it is because you can just follow the duck. Follow the duck, and you will know where the Blakey is, and Blakey is getting bullied left, right, centre, and over the barrier. Well, we're going to try and push our way through here. I want to go this way, thank you all very much, and brakes, and brakes, and I don't want to go over that barrier, nope, oh dear. And I am stuck. <laughs> hey, Lado, I see your plan. <laughs> Lado's plan is hang around at the back, and wait, essentially. Stevie can ping off the door. Uh, we will spin out a U. I mean, so they've not done too much damage to us here because this track, unlike that previous circuit, doesn't have the really... I mean, there are some places where it can be some pretty high-speed hits. That is one of them. Uh, Danger Man has taken some damage there. Uh, we are going to go and... Well, we have a boop to you, and we're about to get spun here. I know that much. Ninetales can fire up the inside. Longbow can hit the back. I'm fine with him hitting the back of my car. Um... We know we're going to get pushed towards the uh, dirt banks here. Lado's turned up, and someone has fallen over back there. Lado's going to try and push into the corner. Oh, everyone hits us, and we are over the wall. Uh, can we recover here? Yes, we can. Lado has snuck past. We are back over again, though. Oh, this gave us a big hit. Uh, Lado has fallen off the circuit, and we will give Lado a little hip check through there. Uh, <laughs> you pushed me into a previous corner. Oh, Blakey spun in an awkward place. Uh, I'm going to have to go try to chase down a Danger Man now. Because at the end of the day, my race is with... Well, with Danger Man. Essentially, I can't worry too much about the little cars. Longbow can scoot past, and we're going to do like a triple cutback sort of thing. Oh, Danger Man has been rammed, and I was going to get... <laughs> I, I did speed up in that, because if I did anything else to avoid it, I was going to end up getting taken out in a different way. Uh, most important thing there... Uh, is to get around the corner. Try and hide behind the Armco barrier is what I've got to go for. Unfortunately, could not get there soon enough. Longbow has put us round. Blakey trundles past and uh, avoids. Whoop. Hello. <laughs> Someone tried. Oh, Lado has turned up but immediately found a tyre barrier. Whey! Hello. <laughs> hey, Nightales. <laughs> Nightales saw the squabble between the hearse and the Grand Duke and decided, you know what? Maybe the best idea was to avoid that. Uh, Ewan can have a fire up the inside. Spins a Blakey. Oh, we're going to ride the rail, but get away with it. Lado has got turned and is probably about to get uh, nudged again. There is Ninetales. Someone went shooting past the other way. Lado is pointing the wrong direction. Uh, we've got one more lap to go after this. So I mean, we don't want to lose too much time here. Uh, there is a spin. Oh, there's a spin for Ninetales as well. Danger Man in the lead of the race. Will we find a way past? I mean, there's still, there's going to be a lot more go on between now and the end of the race. That's the end of them, whoever it is. Slow down Danger Man. Uh, Ninetales with an impressive attempt. It didn't quite work. We get pinned against the outside wall. And uh, Ninetales is going to reset quickly to try and not get wrecked in that which is fair enough. Mute is going to bounce off the side of us, uh, which, well, we're a little bit careful here, because uh, while, you know, I don't, I don't really want to get involved in this fight. I want, I need to be closer to Danger Man. Danger Man's over. Danger Man has rolled over. It's kind of Blakey. Oh. Lado's going to send one, and it's not going to work out for Lado. It might well go to Blakey unless there is another car sneaking its way around in this final corner. It would be cruel to Blakey if there is. However, 
I don't think there's any. Oh, Blakey's crashed it. Blakey's hit the wall, and we had nowhere to go, and Danger Man's going to beat all of us. I was already committed. I was full throttle, and there was nothing I could do there. Blakey hit the tyre bundle. It blocked the track. I hoped my hit was just going to push it clear for me, but for some reason it spun me, and that was it. Danger Man takes victory. Lado is second. Me and Blakey would end up third and fourth. It, yeah, an unforced error on the tyre bundle would be all it took. <laughs> it's devastating for Blakey. Oh, there is what's left of some of the swarm cars. Gliskas is in a bad, a bad way. Oh, bloody hell. Danger Man was gifted that one. Yeah, well, we got we got slowed heavily by the uh, Blakey and then Longbow murdered us into that final corner, um, which was a good... Good takeout. Yeah, got it. <sighs> That's how it goes. Marked man is tough. Marked man is, is seriously tough here. So we head to the final. I'm a little bit in an awkward place, actually. There are three vehicles, because we have three heats. It is Ninetales with the Blade, Ewan with the Super Venom, and Danger Man with the car that a bullet. That was the one, I think. I forgot, I forgot to check, but I think it's a bullet, uh, from what I remember. So... <laughs> For the grand finale, we have come to Crash Canyon. I mean, what better circuit to cause mayhem than this, where, I mean, there's not going to be a problem getting to the cars that are racing. If anything, we might lose a lot of the swarm in this. I, I do suspect that is going to be a legit problem. Uh, we shall see what we can do that doesn't involve too much death. For us, is, is probably the main thing. Uh, oh, missed, 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 missed everything. Uh, <laughs> but the good thing is, like, we can dr do this, and we could actually still be making progress over the course of our lap, so we don't get forced to reset. Um, yeah, we will, we will see. Of course, the cars that are running, they can choose to go different ways around here. Uh, oh, you and with a good dodge, you with a really good dodge in all of that. Uh, managed, I mean, lost a lot of time in in that, but did complete a good dodge on us. Uh, right. I mean, we've got a lot more momentum. Oh, Ewan's car is absolutely knackered at the moment. Ewan is going to have to be super careful for the rest of this race. Uh, we get a very big hit on Danger Man. Well, Gliska gave us a big whack as well in that, but it's fair enough. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, Ewan is going to want to drop back here. I, it's going to... This is the toughest one we've ever done for Mark Man. I knew Crash Canyon was going to be difficult. Um for these vehicles. Thought for a bit of fun, though. We've got to have some chaos, really. And uh, this is this is the place to go, really, for that chaos. Because they've got to run into the corner so hard. Uh, yeah, that's that's where they've got to be really careful. Uh, is that they're always going to get followed into the corner by someone or something. Ooh, missed it. Oh, Danger Man's car's got a hell of a pff, droopy front corner. I'm going on the brakes to, to see if I can slow... Wait, Danger Man is... Actually, Danger Man wasn't even last year. That's fine. Uh... <laughs> I think the actual trick that I think they're going to need to do if they're going to want to survive this is actually go slow. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to... Actually, Ewan's kind of figuring it out. You basically don't want to let the, the swarm get a big run on you in these tight corners. And I think they have started to, to figure this out. You back the swarm up down here... Because they know that we hit the, us hitting in the back of them isn't going to do very much to their cars. So you back us up down here, take a little bit of damage, but not too much. Oh, I have spun my car for no reason, seemingly. Uh, we will give Ninetales a whack in that. Danger Man's actually in not bad shape currently. Uh, <laughs> I've only put this to seven laps, well, I guess six laps technically for the... Uh, racers while being attacked because I knew this was going to be super tough and with three of them there's even less uh, vehicles to attack. Danger Man's actually done a good job. Yeah, Ewan's got the right idea to an extent there. Kind of back back us up in an attempt. Oh, that was a wipeout. That was uh, some friendly fire. Uh, that was some swarm on swarm cars. Oh, that was a terrible hit on the red machine. Ninetales is now the new best shape racer still going. Uh, hey, Danger Man. I wasn't even trying to murder you particularly. You're last, so they have no interest in really killing your car. Uh, can we do anything to Ninetales? Oh, no, we can... Uh, mute! I'm piggybacking mutes. <laughs> Ninetales has just been pushed up against the wall. Uh, let's see if we can do something about Danger Man's car here. Oh, it's a big hit. It's a lot bigger a hit on me, to be honest. Uh, oh, dear. I'm going to have to go away round here. I don't actually know what we're going to go 
to go. I'm going to have to go a way around here. So yeah, we're poorly. I mean, a lot of us are going to be poorly. That's probably the last big hit I can do on a turny roundy bit. Uh, Danger Man is technically last, so we will go and give Ewan a hit. And I think that we might actually put Ewan out. No, Ewan survives that <laughs> that rollover. Danger Man will survive that as well. Whee! Hello. Oh, I think don't, don't think Danger Man survived anymore. I think Danger Man's vehicle is very poorly. Uh, <laughs> Nine Tails is still going. Ewan's is still going somehow. Somehow that did no damage to Ewan. I'm not even sure who's where any. Who's who's where? Danger Man's dead. I think that's the end of Danger Man's car. Ewan might be dead. No, Ewan's still alive. Ugh. We should not have slid into Ninetales' car like that. So Ewan, oh, they're they're at a uh, very. Everyone's at a very precarious point. And everybody, actually, that car there is particularly healthy, which surprises me. Well, we boop and spin Ninetales, but don't actually do any damage. That car there will. Ewan is out. Ninetales. If Ninetales can overtake Ewan. I think Ewan is going to have won this, you know. Ninetales' car is dead there. Ewan's car is dead slightly further around the circuit. The Super Venom will take victory. It limped on one hit point, despite being rolled and bullied. I think all it had to do was get down here and it would have taken victory. I would have finished the race. That was in incredibly tough. That was, it was always going to be... It's always going to be a tough round uh, to finish that one off. And uh, yeah. They figured out that the kind of tactic, um, if they could keep us all bunched together, it was when we spread out and could manage to torpedo cars from a distance. That was when we got really dangerous. Uh, it's a very silly game mode, this. It's a very silly game mode. But it is a lot of fun. So we always enjoy these slightly different game modes on Wreckfest. And uh, yeah, this one was suitably suitably wacky. I think I lost a lap somewhere along the way. Maybe. Don't know. Maybe I didn't. Uh, yeah, it was, a, it was a mad a mad game mode. We'll give Lado a spin. That does mean if Lado sees us, we will get murdered at some point, which is probably fair. Oh, we get to bounce around all over the place, over these jumps, because of course we are. Uh, we will tip the mini in to the corner. Yeah, this has been a lot of fun. I uh, always enjoy the, uh, the Marked Man sessions. Ewan is going to be the victor, though, at this time around with that Super Venom as we jump our way across the finish line and complete it on one hit point. That shall be it from me. Thank you all very much for watching, and until next time, uh, yeah, goodbye.